I'll be showing the just launched Microsoft Designer, which helps you create stunning designs in a flash. Designer also incorporates AI to make it really easy for anyone to create some pretty incredible stuff. So let's get started. I'm here at designer.microsoft.com. This is the landing page for Designer. Now, I already have an account, so I can sign in with my Microsoft Consumer account. Designer is not yet supported with Azure Active Directory, meaning work or education organization accounts. That will be coming in the future. But I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft account right here. I land here in the Designer homepage, and note that it's ready to get me started right away. I don't start with that blank canvas, which can be kind of hard to figure out what you're doing for some people. In the lower left, you can click blank canvas or recent designs, but what Designer does is it gives you a bunch of ideas to start. So you see some examples on the right, and it encourages you to try a prompt. So right here, you just describe what you want. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna say an Instagram post that's gonna say, happy spring skiing, let's celebrate the end of the season. And I can click generate right here. You could choose to add an image or generate an image, and I'll show that in just a moment, but let's get started and click generate. Now the AI is gonna kick in and give me some different options. Here are a bunch of square Instagram post styles, you know, happy spring skiing. I can click the little plus to magnify to make it bigger. That looks pretty cool. I can drop down size and I can choose square and that's Instagram post landscape, which is typical Facebook ad or Instagram story portrait. So you have some options to change there. And you can also go to a blank canvas. Now what I wanna do is I wanna generate my own images and insert them into some of these designs. So right here, you see this generate image button. I could also say add image, so I could upload from my phone or from a device, about a specific image that I wanted to use here. But I'm click on generate image and note that this uses Dolly AI. And this is 2.5 and that's how these images are generated. So let's click on generate image. Now I can paste in any prompt that I want. So in this case, I'm gonna say a skier on a sunny day with mountains in the background, Kodachrome style, and I'll click go. Now here's some images that it generated and you can see this is kind of interesting in Kodachrome style, skier with the sun, but you know, maybe I want to have these in pop art style instead. So I'm going to change this. Okay. And now I'll click go. Now it's going to generate some new images. Now here are three new images. Ooh, this one looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah. Exploding sun shadows from the skis. I really like this one. So I've selected this here and I will choose select. Now on the right, all these images will update with this new pop art skier that I have. Now it's added that pop art skier into all of these Instagram images over here. Now what I wanna do is I actually wanna say, you know what, I wanna add motion to this. So I'm gonna say just happy spring skiing is all, and I'm gonna say add motion. So I can add motion to all my images and I'll click generate. Over on the right, you see this little play button that indicates motion. If I hover on these, it'll show the different motion that comes for each of these creations that it has. So I'm gonna go around here. I kinda like this one here, the little movie film strip. You can make that bigger. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna click on this one, and now I'm gonna choose Customize Design. And now we're gonna go into the main area of Designer. So click Customize Design here. Now my design is brought into the main Designer area. Over on the right, you can see Designer suggests a bunch of other different types of layouts. So for example, maybe I wanted this one. Oh, that's kinda cool. Or maybe something like this and you can explore other different designs right in here. You can go backwards and forwards, so here is undo. If I wanna go back to where I was before, I can click undo a few different times and get back here. And I've got a play button. So if your design has motion, I can click play, and it will do that preview. You also have the ability to zoom in or zoom out if you wanna get in close or just fit things to the screen with this little control. So you know what, after looking at here, I actually think I like this one a little bit better. It doesn't have motion, but I kind of like the way it's split out across the screen. Over on the left-hand side is the main area where you can choose different templates, media, visuals, text, etc. So clicking on templates, this brings up a bunch of different templates. Now, I already have my design here, but it has things like upcoming holidays, for example, all sorts of templates here, and you can search across templates. So for example, if I went and typed skiing up here and searched for those, I can see other types of templates that already exist. I'm not gonna choose these because I have the thing that I want right here. If you wanna add other media, you can click right here. My media lets you choose from this device, from your phone, if you click here, it actually gives you a nice little QR code to quickly upload photos from your iPhone or Android. You've got Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Photos, and of course, OneDrive. There's also other images that you might have already used or created. So here's some other examples down here. 
Right now I have what I want. I'm not gonna upload new media, but I can go even create more as you'll see in a second. I click on visuals. Because designer knows there's a skier on the page, it recommends a bunch of different interesting skier photos here. Now right here is all, it has a bunch of different stuff, but I wanna go here and I can filter. So I can say generate, I can generate new images to add. I can go here and I can add different photos and there's a bunch right here. I can keep scrolling pretty much indefinitely. There's just a ton of different photos. There's different graphics and then there's even different videos that you can add. So right here, there's different types of videos. You might wanna add a little bit of motion to your thing. Maybe for graphics, I'm gonna type in skiing. And there's a bunch of really interesting skiing things here. I kinda like this gondola, it has an old school feel. Maybe I'm gonna choose the black one here. And when I click it, it adds it right to the page. Now I'll put the gondola on the page. I'm gonna drag it over here. And I think I'm gonna put it down at the bottom right here. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna drag it around. You can rotate this back and forth. I can also have options right here so I can change the color and choose it to be this color or that color. What's nice is I can use the eyedropper. I'm gonna go, you know, I like this kind of blue here. I'm gonna click on the blue and now it makes it nice and blue. I can also change things like inspire me. So if I go click here, it'll inspire me with different colors that might match in different ways. Oh, now it matches the skis. Maybe that looks a little bit better. I kind of like that. If you want to change the position, you can say bring front, forward, set to back, and send backwards. So lots of ways to change the layering of images that you might choose. And you can even choose opacity. So right here, if I want to make it a little more blending in, I can go like this. You'll see it gets lighter. This is better for photos. In this case, I've got a pretty solid shape. Now moving on to text, I'll click this button on the left. A ton of different text options, headings, subheadings, and a lot of different ways to play around. I'll let you experiment. We're not gonna go deep into text, but in this case, I wanna click on here and I do wanna change the fonts and I wanna change the colors. So there's a lot of different fonts. There's recent ones that you've used. This is the most recent. There's a bunch of different suggestion ones. I kinda like this one, has a little bit older school vibe to it. And I can do things like brand font. If you create a brand kit right here, which I'll show in a moment, you might have a font that you're using all the time. Again, you can also choose Inspire Me and the AI will go and choose something that you might find interesting. So I'll click Inspire Me. That one doesn't quite work for me, so I'm gonna click Undo right here and go back to the one that I had. And I can also change all this information up here too. So if I click here, I've got lots of different fonts to choose from. I've got recently used, I have colors in this design. I can also use the eyedropper again. So maybe I wanna use the eyedropper on this one and I'll click on this nice blue right here. And there we've got that nice blue. I can do things like right align and center it. I can make the font bigger or smaller like here. And what I think I wanna do is I'm gonna drag this a little bit higher and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and I'll make my gondola, let's move that up a little bit more and make it a little bit bigger. All right, so now I've got my happy spring skiing Instagram post. If you wanna go and tweak it a little bit more, you can always go in the upper right and get some ideas. So I click here and it's gonna inspire me. It might have some other suggestions again. So this is always something you can bring back up and go experimenting with on the right hand side. The last thing on the left hand pane here is brand kit. So when I click this, there might be different things that I want to save so I can always reuse the same fonts and colors if I'm a brand, I'm making a small business, or maybe I'm an educator who's making all sorts of different content. There are a lot of different ways that you can access the similar type of font and colors. You can also add your own brand. So if I click plus here, now I can go and I can generate color palettes, headings, subheadings, etc. I'm not gonna design an entire brand kit in this video, but what this does is it lets you reuse the same type of colors and content so you don't have to recreate it every single time. And I'll close this. At the top right here, there's a drop down. So I can say start a new design. I could say all my existing designs. I can resize this or I can even rename this. So maybe I wanna rename this to a different thing. That's my spring skiing post and hit enter. If I wanna create a new design, I just click start new design. I can also choose new design right up here. If I click that, it launches a new browser window. And I'm back to the same starting point like we saw earlier in the video. Let's go back to my skiing design. When you're ready to share your design with the world, you can go in the upper right and click on download. So you can download as a PNG. You also have JPEG or PDF options. You can say make background transparent or remove watermark depending on what you're doing. And you can also send it to your phone. You can even copy as an image and paste it right into whatever, Twitter or LinkedIn or wherever you might be going. 
Right here, you can also use AI for captions and hashtags. So this is Instagram business. I don't have an Instagram business account, so I'm not gonna show that. There's also Facebook as well as LinkedIn. And if you click on the try it button, it'll ask you to link your account and then it'll also use some AI to help generate captions or hashtags. So that can make it more inclusive and save you some time. Right now, I'm just gonna click on download and it pops up a useful download dialogue. Design looks great, it gives you an example. You can even subscribe to get more tips from Designer and I highly suggest doing that because they're gonna be launching lots and lots of new capabilities in the coming weeks and months. In the upper right, if I click save as, it'll save that PNG to my hard drive and then I can share it around. If you wanna access your other existing designs, click this drop down here and choose my designs. This gallery shows other designs you've been working on. The other nice thing that we haven't yet talked about is that you can go browse templates in Microsoft Create. Microsoft Create is a new site that it's integrated nicely with Designer. So I'm gonna click this here. This is launched create.microsoft.com. This is a new website that has all sorts of great templates you can use and it has special integration with Designer. So if I scroll down here, you can see all sorts of information about categories, resumes, presentations, planning. There's also examples that have little icons. So when I hover, it says customize in Designer. If I click on the button, it will download that design and open it up in Designer. There's presentations. So if I hover here, you can see customize in PowerPoint. Create.microsoft.com has a ton of different templates and examples. So I encourage you to go and try this out, explore and have some fun. To round out the UI, up in the upper right, you can always see what's new. I love that little announcement because you can see all the new features that are getting added. So always be sure to check that out. If you have feedback to send, you can say, I like something, I don't like something, or a suggestion. Designer is a brand new app, so the team is listening for feedback and they really look forward to hearing your feedback. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.